MMA Oddsbreaker, I'm Frank Trigg. That is Farkad Sherpoff on the other end of the line. He's fighting in XFC 27. Getting ready to battle against Francisco Ribeiro. He's down there in, uh, you're still down in, in uh, Orlando, Florida, right? At Gracie, uh, Gracie Bar, Orlando, is that right? Uh, no, not Gracie Bar. I'm still in Orlando, but I train out of Jungle MMA. Oh, okay. How, was, uh, how come the switch? Or is it, has it been... Yeah, it's been it's been three years. Uh, I just switched the gyms, you know. It's more uh, Gracie Baja. It's a good school, jiu-jitsu school, you know. And I was looking for something MMA uh, in jungle. Jungle, it's uh, one of the biggest. I mean, it's the biggest MMA in Central Florida. Yeah, it's huge. I I even know about the jungle, and that's uh, and I barely ever make it out to Florida, so that's a big deal. The jungle yeah, is, is big. Tom, Tom, Tom Lawler and uh, Petruzzelli, you know, Mike Lee, these guys. I mean, yeah, it's good. A lot, the of, guys, a lot of ex-pros yeah, guys, are running it, and that, that goes a long way for the younger guys like you that are trying to make a, trying to make a bigger name for yourself. So it's, a, it's actually a perfect storm out there. But let's, let's break down uh, yeah. um, Francisco Ribeiro, your opponent. You're 14-5. and five, He's 24-9. and nine, But where do you really see him as, a, as an opponent? I don't know. Um, he's a Muay Thai guy. Maybe this this is strength, you know. And but I've been working. I've been working. This is probably the most, uh, you know, uh, uh, position that he can be a little bit better. I doubt that he's he's gonna be better, but you know, this this is strong uh, side. But I never seen him uh, taking people down or being on the ground. It, it looks like on paper, at least, it's a classic striker versus a classic jiu-jitsu guy. And you know how that always ends up happening, that once the jiu-jitsu guy gets inside, takes the guy down, he passes him, and he, and he starts to beat him up if he doesn't submit him. Do you kind of see this fight going that way, where you're just going to be able to take him down pretty easily and then, and then pass his guard and beat him up? Yes, this, 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 I think, uh, this, the most uh, uh, seen this, this going to happen. Uh, because uh, he's gonna try counter attack me on my way in, so, you know, with my striking. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try take him down right away. And uh, once I take him down, and I don't see any you know uh, troubles passing his guard or submitting. If uh, everything goes exactly the way as planned, what submission do you think you're gonna end up hitting with hitting him with? Uh, Umbar. Perfect. You're still. See, every time I've, I've seen you fight, you won by armbar submission. And so it was one of those situations, I thought maybe that there was, it was just, that's just what was given to you. But is that still your favorite, your favorite submission of, out of all of them is to hit an armbar on somebody? Uh, yes, when I'm on the top, exactly. That's the most, my favorite, my, my favorite uh, position, you know, technique, armbar. On the bottom, it's a different, different game, but once you're in the top, they just give it the hand, you know, when they try to defend themselves. It makes it very easy, and, and that's one of the reasons why Ronda Rousey's so good at the iron bars. That when she gets on top of you, everyone goes, "Ah, don't hit me!" And then she snatches it and walks away with it. And it's the same thing, kind of what you do. You snatch it and walk away with it. It. Um, are you one of those athletes that's like, I'm going to take the iron bar, and I'm going to I'm going to become the, the best person at getting this iron bar in every position, and then no matter what, everyone knows I'm going to iron bar you, but I'm just going to be better at it than anybody else is at stopping it. Or are you an athlete that always wants to have three or four different things? That are that are offsets from the iron bar, like moving on to a kimura, or moving on to a paintbrush, or something else like that. It depends, yeah. But I always have a, a different plan, you know, strategy. If, if he defends, is good because you you cannot really, you know, uh, even you're very good at some technique. Some people uh, know that and they, you know, work on uh, defending it pretty well. So if they do defend, then you have to have a backup plan, you know, and you just got to switch for something else. That's what I usually do. But uh, I will always, I always try to get it, but, you know, you always got to have a uh, backup plan. All right. Well, appreciate you coming on here with MMA Oddsbreaker and taking a couple minutes with us. Good luck in XFC 27 coming up here on December 13th. It's going to be a great fight. I can't wait to watch it. I'll be at home watching it from my couch, but uh, have fun. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.